With the Whole Foods market open and all over the news, we've seen and heard the hype, healthy food, sustainable living, you know the drill. But what's really in the store that has everyone so excited? I thought I'd take a look. Being a meat eater, I started here. Now, if simply knowing where your meat is from isn't good enough for you, well... And so the exciting thing about Whole Foods Market is through our global animal partnership and our animal compassion, we have a five-step rating system for all of our meats. And this just basically tells you how the animals are treated, if there was growth hormones or antibiotics used. I'll never look at salmon the same way again. The produce was beautiful, a lot of it from close by. Even the fruit boxes were made of reclaimed wood. I continued my adventure. If you like cheese, boy, do they have cheese. I was impressed by their support of over 30 Valley vendors, as well as their financial support of these up-and-coming local companies. They even had sweets that were at least kind of healthy. But what about those unique one-of-a-kind products that you just don't see? Look no further for your Mary's Miracle Tart. If your day is meaningless without your warrior meal, well, stop your fretting. Organic coconut flour? Check. And there's just no substitute for organic veggie loaf, is there? Coffee? A deli? Gourmet cupcakes? I think is a store I'm going to come back to. A lot. But what I was really dying to know was what kind of magazines are at the Whole Food checkout. Clean eating? Makes sense. Gluten-free living? If that's your thing. Well-being journal? Like, for all your well-being needs, I guess. And the magazine everyone's got on their coffee table? Lucky Peach. Vanity Fair was as mainstream as it got. So what was the least healthy, non-organic thing I found? An Elvis CD at the checkout. Really. From the Whole Foods and Willets, I'm Don Chaney for the Mountain Eye Journals.